Hey guys, it's Rainbow and Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the flower charm, which will end up looking like this when you're finished. For this charm, you will be needing one Rainbow Loom kit, 71 A color bands, 25 B color bands, and if you want to keep it as a charm, you'll need five C clips. But if you want to make it into a bracelet, you'll need six. And if you're wondering what this bracelet or charm is called, the truth is I actually don't know. What I'm going to do is ask you guys to please comment down below and tell me what you think this flower should be called. And when I'm ready to choose a winner, I will upload a video saying who won. And that will be the name of this charm slash bracelet. And I really appreciate if you would go ahead and do that either right now or after the video. I would really be grateful and who knows, you might win if you get a really good idea. And, um, yep, that's what you're going to do. And I'm probably going to have more of these where you can choose the name after I make a new pattern or bracelet or charm. Um, but for now, this is my very first one. And I really appreciate if you go ahead and comment down below what you think this flower or bracelet should be called. Now I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, so as you can see, I drew a diagram here. I drew it because um, this is an advanced level project. And I think you need a diagram for particularly this project because it's um, a little bit confusing if you don't know what's coming next. So it's kind of hard to memorize the pattern of the petals. So that's why I drew it. And if you don't already know what these letters and numbers mean, I'm going to be telling you. So as you know, when I said in the beginning, you're going to be needing... Um, 71 A color bands and 25 B color bands. What I meant by A and B is you'll need 71 A color bands. But what color should they be? What's A color? Well, basically A means any color in the world. You can choose any color you want, any color band. So you can choose, say, you want purple to be for A, so you have 71 purple bands. But no matter what, they still have to be the exact number that I told you you'll need. But they can be any color you want. And B, same for B. You'll need 21 B color bands, or 25 B color bands. But they can't be the same color as A. They have to be a different color. But other than that, they can be any other color. And, but you'll still need 25 of them. And so that's probably pretty easy to know. But the numbers, you know how I have A1, A2, those are to say when to place them. You can't go A4, B6, A1. You can't do that. You have to place in order the number. So you have to place A1 first, then A2, then A3, then A4. And, and the letters you see, you just place A color bands. And then up here you do B. And that's about it. And... Um, now that you get what the diagram is, why don't we go on and start the first petal. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is first make sure that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Also, make sure that your loom, if it are, isn't already in this configuration, please put it in the parallel configuration where all the pegs, all the rows of pegs are the same length. to kind of like parallel. And then... You're going to follow along with the diagram for A1. We're going to be placing two bands at a time for this entire pattern. So just keep that in mind as we place the bands. So take two A color bands, place them from first middle to the first left as shown in the diagram. That's A1. Take 
two A color bands again and place A2. A3. Two A color bands again. Place them from the first left peg to the second left peg. A4. Again, take two A color bands. Place them from the first right peg to the second right peg. A5, from the first middle peg to the second middle peg. B6, take two B color bands this time. I'm using indigo. Place them from the, the second left peg to the third middle peg. So it's going like a diagonal angle, like that, and then take two B color bands again, and do B7, you can push the bands down as you go and place them from the second right peg to the third middle peg again, right where those two B bands that we placed were. So the two B bands are meeting at that center pin right there. A8, take two A color bands and place them from the second middle peg to the second left peg. A9. Take two A color bands and place them from the second middle peg to the second right peg. Now it's time to place our cap band. As you can see up here, I wrote A10 cap band. So basically you're just taking for A10 one single A colored band and capping that top center pin right there where those two B bands meet. And to cap, you're going to take an A color cap band twist it into an eight shape and then just double it over itself so it's like that and then you can just go ahead and place it on that center pin right up there so it's like that and once you've done this you're going to first make sure that your loom looks just like this loom. And it should look kind of like a little house with the B colored bands as the roof. And if it does, you're ready to move on to the next step. But if it doesn't, please take all of the bands off of your loom and start again from the beginning. Okay, so I drew another diagram for the hooking part because that will help a lot too. Um, so we're going to start hooking our first petal, but first make sure that the red arrow at the top of your loom is now pointing towards you. Then. You're going to hook B1 by going under this A color cap band and grabbing the top two B color bands.
top two and bringing them over to that peg to the left. B2. Hook, go under that A cap band and grab the bottom two B color bands and bring them to that right pin. A3, that means we go into this left pin and grab the top two A color bands. You go under those two B color bands and grab those top two A color bands and bring them to the right. Just like that, you can push the bands down. A4. Go into that right pin, grab those top two A color bands. It's a little bit hard. Right there and bring them to the left. Like that. A5, go into that left pin, grab the bottom two A color bands, the only two A color bands, both of them, and just pull them forward to that pin they belong to. A6, go into that right pin, grab the bottom two A color bands, bring them forward. Now we're going to do A7. Go into that center pin right there. And grab the very bottom two A color bands. It's a little bit tricky because all of the bands on this peg are A color. It's kind of hard to get the bottom two, but get the very bottom two and bring them, oops, that's just one. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. So, you might want to pause the video here while you do that. Um, there we go. And then once you have them, you just pull them over to the peg right in front. A8, go into that top left pin, grab the bottom two A color bands like we just did, and bring them to the right peg. Like that, push the bands down. Go into that right pin, A9, grab the bottom two A color bands and bring them to that center pin. Oh. Like that. Okay. Once you've done that, first make sure that your loom looks just like the one on the screen. Okay, and if it does, you're ready to take your first petal off of the loom. If it doesn't, then please take all of the bands off of your loom carefully and start again from the beginning. Okay, so now we're ready to pull our work off of our loom. But first, you need to get one B color band, and I'm just gonna put it here for later. And you'll also get a C clip. C or an S clip, whatever you prefer. And your hook. So first, what you're going to do is go to that top center pin on your loom, 
where all the A bands are. And you're just going to put your hook into that pin under all of those bands and stick it out to the side. Make sure all of those bands are on your hook, otherwise the entire pedal will come apart. So you can just go like that and make sure all of all the bands are on your hook. And then you're going to go ahead and take your B band and place it on the tip of your hook. And then you can just pull your hook out of that peg. It's a little bit tricky because sometimes it'll some A bands will get caught like that. But if that happens, you can just grab the B band and kind of try to undo it. Okay, so once you have it like that, it should look like this. You can just put the end this in your fingers onto the hook and just kind of scoot it high up onto the hook. And then you're just going to pull your work off of the balloon. You can use your fingers if you want. And it should end up looking like this. And all you need to do now is grab your C-clip and the two bands, there should be two bands that are on the hook. What you're going to do is you're going to stretch those bands out so you can have room to put the C-clip on them. So like that. Sorry about the blurriness. I'm trying to get the focus right. Um, so yeah, you can just stretch it or whatever you need to do. And just take your C-clip. And clip those two bands right there. It's little tricky but you can take it off of the hook before you put the c-clip on just so you can like do it with your fingers so you do that and it should look like that that's the first petal and you can just lay it aside for now and now I'm going to be showing you how to place the bands for the next petal and then how to hook them and then I'm going to show you one more petal after that and the last two, I will fast forward through, but I will still keep the diagram up on the screen so you can follow along. Now I'm going to be showing you how to place the bands for the next pedal. It's going to be just the same as the first pedal, but I'm just showing you again so you can like get to memorize the pattern. <laughs> so you're going to do what you did before. Take two A color bands. And please notice that we are placing bands left to right and hooking left to right almost all of the time. So I'm going to show you A1 left. It'll help a little bit more with memorizing it if you know the pattern. And then you go right for A2. A3. Two A color bands. Left. A4, right, and then A5, you go to the middle. Take two B color bands, left, second left peg to the third middle peg, and then Go to the right, second right peg to the third middle peg, that's B7, left, two A color bands, A8, that's on the left, and then do the right, two A color bands, A9, and so you see how you're like going left to right that should help a little bit and now for the cap band 
instead of like a regular cap band, we're going to take the flower petal that we just finished and just take this cap band, this aqua cap band, or the A color cap band that we did, and stretch it out and put it right there for the cap band. That. And that is your second petal placing, and now I'm going to show you how to hook it. Okay, now we're ready to start hooking the second petal. You're going to do the same thing as before. Notice that we are hooking almost the entire time from left to right, like we did with the placing. So you're going to go under that flower cap band, grab the top two B color bands, hold that flower cap band down while you pull those to the left pin, and then repeat on the right side, B2. Go under that flower cap band, grab those bottom two B color bands, bring them to that right pin. Now, A3, go into that left pin, grab the top two A color bands. That's the left pin. Bring them to that middle pin. And then right. Repeat on the other side. Grab the top two A color bands and bring them to that center pin. Like that. And then A5, go into that left pin, grab the bottom two A color bands, and bring them forward. Repeat on the other side, right, grab the bottom two A color bands, and bring them forward. A7, go into that middle pin and grab the bo very bottom two A color bands. Very bottom two. And if any of the A bands come off, it doesn't really matter. As long as they don't really come loose, you can just put them back onto that middle pin. A8. Go into that left top left pin. Grab the bottom two A color bands. Bring them to the right. Repeat on the other side. Right. Grab the bottom two A color bands and bring them to that center pin. Like that. Now we're ready to pull it off of the loom. Do exactly what we did before. Take a B colored band and your hook and a C clip. And place the band on the C clip for later. Take your hook and put them at that top center pin under all of those bands and kind of stick it out to the side. Just all of those bands. Take your B band, put it on the top of the hook, and pull the hook out. Like that. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and put that other side onto the hook. And just slide it up high on the hook. And then you can just pull all your 
flower off. And it should be like that. And then you can take your C-clip. And do what we did before. Take these two. You can pull it off of the hook. And then take your C-clip. And put it on those two bands. Like that. And it will look like this. It's really cute. And... Now we're ready to do the third petal. Okay, so now we're ready to place the bands for the third petal. We're going to do exactly what we did for the last two. A1. Take two A color bands and go from the first middle to the first left. Remember what I said in the last petal? We're going left to right, left to right, middle, left to right, left to right, cap. Okay, and then do right, A3, left, two A color bands, A4, right, A5, middle, B6, two B color bands this time, left, B7, right, A8, Two A color bands, left, A9, two A color bands, and right, and then do the cap band by taking your flower, which now has two petals, and placing that center cap band right in the center of those that flower. Just put that right there. Kind of push the flower petals down. And now you are ready to hook the third petal. Okay, so now you're ready to hook the third petal. Start off by doing B1. Go under that cap, that flower cap band and grab the top two A color bands. And bring them to that left pin. B2. Go into that flower cap band. And grab the bottom two B color bands. They should be the only B bands that are there. Bring them to that right pin. A3, go into that left pin, and grab the top two A color bands. They should be right underneath the top two B color bands. Grab those and bring them to that right pin, center pin. Repeat on the other side, go into the right pin, grab the top two A color bands right beneath the top two B, bring them to the left, the center pin. A5, go into that left pin again, grab the bottom two A color bands, they should be the only A color bands in there, and of course bring them forward, repeat on the other side, go into that right pin, grab the bottom two A bands, they should be the only A bands in there, and grab both of them, pull them into the peg in front. A7, go into that center pin, grab the very bottom two bands, 
and bring them forward onto that center pin. A8, go into that top left pin, grab the very bottom two A color bands and bring them to the right center pin. Repeat on the other side, go into the right pin, grab the bottom two A color bands and bring them to that center pin to its left. Now, you're ready to take it off of the loom. Do what we always do. Grab a C-clip, a B-colored band, and your hook. Take your hook, go into that top center pin, like you always do, put your hook into that pin and just stick it out to the side. As I always show you, you can go around the pin either side to make sure that you have all of the bands on that hook. Once you've done that, you can take your indigo band and hook it onto the hook and pull it out of that um, pin. But if one of the bands comes off, don't continue on doing that. Just put it back onto the pin. Pull your hook out and make sure that everything is secure. Like that. Okay. Sorry about that. Put your hook underneath. Put, your, put the band on your hook. And just pull the hook straight out. Like that. Now you can put the end that you're holding with your fingers onto the hook. Slide it up kind of high. And then pull your work off of the loom. Using your fingers if you need to. And it should look like this. It's really it's looking even better. <laughs> that. Now, you're ready to you can take it off the hook holding those two bands very securely. If you don't do that, then they can easily, like, it can come apart, the entire thing. Okay, so let me show you again. You're just going to take that C-clip and put it on those two blue bands, just like that. And that is your third petal. I'm going to fast forward through these last two petals. But I'm going to leave the diagram on the screen for you to follow along with me. I recommend pausing the video here and then once you are ready to go on to the next step, press play. Um, the reason is because um, when I fast forward, it's kind of too quick for you to follow along with the diagram. So if you pause it here, you can do the diagram, what the diagram says, and then press play. Well, it fast forwards and do that for the last pedal too.
So now our flower is finished. After we put the C clip on the last petal. Okay. So you can just kind of flatten it with your hands. And it's really nice. I it'll turn out really nice and um it should look some like this and now what I'm going to do is show you how to make it into a bracelet if you want to or you can just keep it like this nice little charm um but if you decided to make it into a bracelet I'll be showing you how Okay, so first you're going to choose a color that you want for the bracelet. I am choosing a B color. Um, you don't have to choose that. You can choose any color you want. And just set them aside and you also need a C-clip. And now you're just going to make a single line of bands. It depends on the size of your wrist, how many you'll need. If you have like a really tiny wrist, then you'll probably need um, about four bands, four or five. And if you have like a pretty tiny wrist, probably six. A normal size wrist would probably need seven. And like if you're an adult or if you just have a big wrist, you'll probably need seven. So I'm just going to use six because I probably have an average wrist. Um, so you just go up in a single pattern. As many bands as you need. Six. And then what you do is take your flower and spread apart two petals. Like that. So there's a little opening. And then you put that part, like a cat band, at the end of the last band you placed. It should be like that. Now, you're going to flip your loom over. And start hooking that chain just in a regular single pattern. So, grab your hook and just hook it. If you want it to be like thick, then you'll probably need to use two bands at a time for placing, but I just like using one at a time because um, with two, it's a little bit uncomfortable on your wrist, so. And then at the last one, what you're going to do is take it um, and just pull it to that middle peg right there. And then you will take your C-clip and put it right there where we stretched it out. And then you can pull it off of the loom. And it'll look like this. And then you're just going to repeat on the other side. So flip your loom around. And then you're going to um, just place the same amount of bands that you did for the other one. I did five, so, or I did six actually. Oops. It's like that, and then don't forget to put your flower as a flower cap band. And it has to be the opposite, the exact opposite side. So mine is right here, so the opposite side is right here. Otherwise it'll end up uneven and probably won't fit your wrist. Just like that. And then you're just going to flip your loom over. And do the same thing. Hook it. 
in a single pattern chain. Like that. And then you're just going to stretch it out to the middle peg again like you did. And then take it off of the loom except all except for the last stitch right here. And then what you do is take your other end with the C-clip and, um, one second. Okay, so you take the, you pull it off all except for this last stitch that you stretched to the middle peg. Then you take the other side with the C-clip and clip the C-clip on that stretched opening and then you can just pull it off. And it'll be like this. Straighten out the flower. And then you can put it onto your wrist. Um, let's see. And it will look like this. It's really pretty. Um, let's see. And that is a bracelet. And if you decide that you don't like it, then you can just easily take it off and undo the C-clip and then just pull the singles out. And if you do like it, you can just keep it this way. And also, this is a really nice, um, if you, if someone's birthday or holiday is coming up and you don't know what to give them for a gift, this is a perfect homemade, easy, really nice, pretty gift. Um, actually for girls or boys, it's actually really nice as a get well gift because it's like homemade and it's flowers and it'll be really nice for the person that's not feeling so well. And you can use it for many other things. You can use it as a hair flower. You can make these single pattern chains longer, make it as a nice little necklace. You can um, make it as a ring, as doing shorter um, single patterns on either side. You can do a lot of different things, but they're all really nice and cool. And I really hope you will like um, experimenting things with this flower. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Also, please don't forget to comment down below to tell us what you thought of the video and what you'd like to see next from us. If you have any questions, that's also the correct place to put them. And we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks!